All right. Very good. We have one more wall penetration, it looks like here, WL4079. All right, once again, our F rating of one or two hour wall. So we're gonna stick with our one hour wall here. We have a T rating of zero, which uh, these cables are gonna burn. They're gonna get hot, we know this. And this is a large opening, so let's read through this one. So this wall assembly will give us one or two hours as well. Uh, this is a cable tray system, so this is our 4,000 systems. And we have a maximum of 36 inches by four inches, so we're, we're under that, correct, Eddie? Mm -hmm. All right. Our annular space here is a minimum of one inch to a maximum of three inch between the edge of the cable tray and the opening. So that's where Eddie's putting those pillows in right now. What I'm doing here, John, is I'm breaking the pillows down a little bit and we're keeping the seal on the pillows. Yeah, yeah the never packaging. take the seal off the pillows as, as we know from our training. Uh, the mineral wool that's inside of our pillows here make breaking those fibers down a little bit easier. Uh, it's a little more, little more malleable, mal malleable, that's the word, right? Mm -hmm. And it's easier to kind of, you know, friction fit those in there and get the compression we're looking for. So let's continue reading down this system here. We have the cross aggregate sectional cable fill of 39%. So this is the first time that we're hearing about aggregate cross sectional fill and that'll come into play in our next uh, datacom type applications. But also when you have just cables out there, we need to be cognizant of how much fill we have within that opening. So here it's, uh, it's less than 39%, but we don't want to be over 39% or we'd need a different system. Uh, Eddie's using the pillows. We have a maximum of a nine inch by six inch by three inch pillow. And these are our, our largest size. We have uh, three other sizes as well. Yeah, we're so using a combination of the, S, the SSB, the two sixes and the three sixes. Two sixes, the okay. So the two inch and the three inch thicknesses. And then again, we even have a smaller one, one inch. If you had like a, a pipe coming through there, it's easier to get that one inch kind of around, uh, a round pipe coming through there. So reading through here, uh, pillows to be installed lengthwise into the opening, you know, centered as you do. And then the, finally under the 4B, we have some sealant. Uh, you'd put a half inch of sealant around any voids, but Eddie's is the man as far as packing pillows tightly. So doesn't look like we'd need any sealant, but if there was a little void, you put a half inch of sealant. Right. In the meantime, for more information, please visit www.stifirestop.com.